Welcome to part two. Now, so far, we've done the orchestra along with the piano and a bass track sounding like this. Without the metronome. And with it again. So you get the point so far. Now let's start to do some more very complicated things to make the sound better. Turn, put this away a little bit. Now let's create a combinator. And in this, we need to create an instance of a Thor synthesizer, show the programmer, and initialize the patch. It sounds like this at the very base. Let's get started. Let's start by switching this first oscillator to square and move this toward the right. All the way to the right. Turn on the second uh, oscillator space and add another analog. Switch it to a wave and all the way to the left. Now, finally, add a wave table to oscillator 3. Make sure the oscillator 3 is turned on and change the preset to voice. Turn the position down to 0. Okay, sounds good in a way. However, it's clipping a bit, so let's turn it down just to where it doesn't clip anymore. Let's go back. Now, here, it comes with a low pass slider. Let's turn the frequency up. Right to about 4.87 kilohertz. Sounds good. Up the drive a bit for a little more sound. That's good. Now, let's sharpen it. Saturate and turn the drive to right about 44, 45 ish. Now we need more drive to keep the sound. Now, your sound is pretty good so far. Let's channel this to the left and all the way through and create a comb. Now, comb will make it more of a balanced added sound. Let's turn the frequency up to about 10.8 and the resonance to about 36. 35, 36s. Leave the drive alone for this one. Now finally we're done with this instance of Thor but on this Thor we need to create an RV7000 advanced reverb Show the remote programmer and turn the dry wet meter down. Right to about 15 ish. Just gives it that little tiny bit of reverb. Now, finally, to make this sound very full, we're going to add a digital delay line. Right now, it's very delayed, so turn the dry wet to the left. Right to about 11. Let's pan it just to the left a little bit. A little bit less. Sounding good. Now, let's just name this PolySynth1. Turn off the show devices and hide this for now. Let's bring the sequencer, the mini sequencer, back up a bit. Let's give this the lilac color. Turn off the loop. And let's back it up a little bit. Now, let's time it better. Let's go inside. Get this note out. It's unneeded. That sounds pretty good. Let's have a listen. Personally, I think that that sounds a lot better. It's filling it more. Now, copy paste and it fills the whole eight bars. Now, 
off for some final tricks to really give it more of a full sound. Create instrument and go to factory sound bank instrument patches and scroll down to voice and choir and for this let's use the choir wash let's just name it its own name choir wash now that's fine for the name it doesn't really matter let's just hide it we don't need to tweak the programming at all there's your sound for that. Let's mix it down a bit. Now let's just test some of the mixing. We can just copy the same program space from the orchestra and put it into the choir wash. Match the color so that it doesn't trigger OCD. If you don't have it, lick me too bad. And copy paste and listen. Choir voices to be that deep. All you have to do is go inside of it, control or command A on a Mac, control A on a Windows type computer to select all, and you see it's at a C. Just drag them all up to the next C. There you go, it's up one octave. Now copy paste and have a listen. for a very good strike.